What is meteorology? Meteorology is the scientific study of the atmosphere. The atmosphere is the envelope of gases surrounding the earth in which a number of processes varying in duration and dimension operate. This result is the weather experience by an observer on the surface of the earth. Climate Climate is the more general pattern of weather established by analyzing on annual basis the daily conditions at a particular point. Barometer Used to measure atmospheric pressure, it can measure the pressure exerted by the atmosphere using the following. Mercury barometer, water based barometer, aneroid barometer, and barograph. Barometer reading aneroid barometers. Accuracy of readings an aneroid barometer should always be read in the same orientation vertical or horizontal. As during calibration, it should be tapped lightly before being read. As far as possible, it should be read to the nearest 0.1 each PA. Optical and digital devices are available for improving the reading accuracy and reducing the errors caused by mechanical levers. Mercurial Barometer Principle Principle developed by Evangelista Torricelli in 1643 Used for measuring the changes in atmospheric pressure Long glass tube, 33 inches, with an open mercury filled reservoir at the base Air pressure is measured by observing the height of the column of a mercury in the tube. At sea level, air pressure will push on the mercury. Atmospheric pressure increases, air pressure forces mercury to rise. Then, atmospheric pressure decreases when mercury flows back into the reservoir. reservoir. What if you use water instead of mercury? So why is the water column so much higher than mercury column in our presentation? Because mercury Weighs more than water. Another barometer also used to measure atmospheric pressure. It uses a small flexible metal box aneroid cell. Small changes in external air pressure cause the cell to expand or contract. It derives mechanical levers. Our intended learning outcome, number one, describe the basic principle of aneroid barometer. As you can see in the slide presentation, a photo of an aneroid barometer. The dial which is called pointer and the coil which is surrounded to the dial base is spindle and the lever is showing to this area which have under on that mechanical is a vacuum chamber. Okay. An aneroid barometer has a sealed chamber with some air removed, creating a vacuum. 
A chain lever or spring connects a needle to a plastic disc covering the container. So the pointer moves left or to right as the pressure increases or decreases. So here is some principle of the aneroid barometer. The main component is a vacuum box which is particularly exhausted of air. An increase of atmospheric pressure compresses this box causing the pointer on the dial via the lever system to register a higher pressure. Converse occurs with a decrease of pressure as there is no mercury in this barometer. There are no correction for latitude or temperature but a height correction must be applied. There is an adjustment screw on the back of the instrument to take out any index error. The greater the area of the vacuum box, the greater the accuracy of the instrument. It is usual to give the barometer a light tap before reading. This helps to free the fine chain which may stick if pressure changes are only small. It is simpler to transport and to read while temperature correction is unnecessary. Height correction can be built in by resetting the datum on the instrument. A pressure choke can be attached if the rapid height variations leading to rapid pressure variations are expected. This is modes that variation to negligible amounts. Okay, so why you normally tap the aneroid barometer? Because tapping the barometer reveals whether the pressure is rising or falling as the pointer moves. Okay, our next is barograph. No. Barograph principle. There is a recording, aneroid a barometer. A lever system connects the vacuum file to a fan arm which makes a mark on the chart on the drum which is driven by clockwork. The drum is worn and the chart changes weekly. The prime purpose of the wire group is to record the pressure tendency. So atmospheric pressure may change over a period and the change is termed the pressure tendency. For synaptic purposes, the interval of time over which the change is observed is 3 hours, preceding the time of observation. The characteristic of the tendency observed may be described as rising or falling or steady or a combination of this term. Barograph used to records a graph of some atmospheric pressure uses an aneroid barometer mechanism to move a needle on a smoke coil or to move a fan upon a paper. This is the photo presentation of a barograph. Okay. Another Type of presentation of a barograph wafer.
Okay, so as we continue, thermometer device that measures temperature of temperature gradient. Temperature sensor valve on the mercury thermometer in which some physical change occurs with temperature. Means to convert physical change into a value scale on the mercury thermometer. This is the uh, thermometer presentation what we have on the slide. So the column of mercury will expand with an increase of term temperature and contract with a decrease of temperature in exactly the same way as does the thermometer. Okay, next is a psychrometer or hygrometer principle. Mason psychrometer consists of two thermometers mounted side by side in a Stevenson screen. One is a dry valve thermometer, the other a wilt thermometer. Cambric or muslin is wrapped around the valve of the wet valve and it is kept moist by means of a piece of cotton weak leading to a container of a distilled water. The evaporation of water requires heat and this is taken from round the weight bulb which unless the air is saturated shows a lower reading than the dry bulb. The screen and the thermometers should be hung up to win ward away from local drafts or warm air currents and away from direct sunlight it definitely should not be placed within an enclosed room hygrometer principle Whirling psychrometer. More accurate readings can be obtained by using a whirling psychrometer. If this look rather like a rattle, the whirling ensures a steady flow of air over the two valves. By entering tables with the dry valve temperature and the difference between the wet and the dry valve, as arguments the viewpoint and the relative humidity can be found. The number of girls to be given should be adequate to cool down the weight bulb thermometer. Ensure that no finger touches the muslin. The oil from the finger will prevent the muslin from acting like a capillary tube and drawing the water up. Anemometer principle. Instrument used for measuring wind speed. Train measuring instrument. The Robinson cup anemometer consists of four units spherical cup fixed to the ends of rod set 90 degrees from each other in a horizontal plane. The spindle to which the rods are attached is connected to a tachometer and from the number of revolution made in a given time. The run of the wind can be calculated. The anemometer assembly is generally fitted on top of a mass or placed without any obstruction to the wind. The signals from this lid 
to wheelhouse repeaters by cables. And note that the wind as observed in a relative wind, not the true wind, which has to be calculated. And next is the hydrometer principle. The hydro works on Archimedes principle that the floating body displaces its own weight or the floating body displaces its own weight of the liquid in which it floats. It consists of a float It consists of a float chamber through which passes a steam the lower end of which is weighted so that it floats upright. The upper end is graduated read the density specific gravity of water. These are generally made of nickel flated brass and should be kept clean. If the dark water is connected to a river or is a river port, then the water density shall be taken at two level surface and half the drop and the pool of drop and average of the densities will give the correct drop. The hydrometer is used to measure the density of the water and is one of the most important measuring instruments on board a vessel. As soon as the vessel arrives in the port, the density of the water is noted. 